What is happening, everybody? Welcome back to Dark Horse Sports Cards. You got Brody and Case Hit Kelsey here, back with another exciting rip. But before we get into today's rip, Kelsey, folks, did her first ever solo whatnot show. It's been almost 24 hours. How'd it go last night? Um, it went really well. So the first like couple of minutes, I was a little nervous, but Brody was, uh, oh yeah, that happened too. Brody was helping me from across the nation in an airport, <laughs> helping me run the brakes. Yes. Um, so it was well, a little nice. only for the first one. Yeah, for the first one. You helped me get the jitters out and mm -hmm. you helped me just kind of like, I don't know. It is get a little nerve-wracking. It, it is a little nerve-wracking. You had almost 100 people in there, too, so it was a pretty big show. Thank you for everyone that yeah. jumped in, by the way. Yeah, but it, overall, it was really, really fun. By the second break, I, I kind of got talked into, like, you can do it, you can do it. So I was like, okay, I'm going to run the second break by myself, which mm -hmm. ended up going amazing. The people in the chat, the community in the chat was so helpful if I, like, maybe forgot something, which was minimal, which yep. was minimal. Yep. And, um, yeah, overall, it was a really fun experience. I'm going to have to get a new laptop. So I can do this <laughs> solo out in Vegas when I need to. <laughs> also, Silver Sage was like, you could tell he's chomping at the bit. So I will be going out to Vegas here soon, training Silver Sage, and you will see his first solo show probably within the next couple weeks or so. So a lot of baseball to be ripping. Uh, you want to grab one of those little slicers too. Um, obviously in the back, you can see Kelsey did hit in her very first solo show. She did hit case hit. It was a Hollow Heroes Jordan Addison, very nice. But today, we've got a new product. Something that we haven't really seen in stores like Prism. Prism, these are the retail box. Prism Retail, mm -hmm. uh, they have one for Contenders. They have one for Optic. They have, they have one for a lot of different... Well, they actually don't have one for Optic. They have the value pack boxes. But they have these retail boxes, which... They usually open up and then you can buy the packs out of them individually. Mm -hmm. uh, but we have some sealed ones. And I've got some sealed ones that will be coming up in future breaks. If you want to join our breaks, by the way, uh, and you haven't joined Whatnot, you can click our link in the description down below and you get $15 free to jump in and see what's up. We also have a whole lot of singles that we will be selling soon as well. We might do another you one You think of those. I could do a single show by myself? Yeah, I think you can. That's easier than the breaks, for sure. Really? Yeah, it's way easier than the breaks. Okay. Breaks, are a little, there's a lot more going on. Um, but let's tell us about this box, because I'm not super familiar with it. So what are we expecting here? I don't know either. I no, just you, know we're looking for... The box. This is where you read the box. I know. I know we're just looking for some autographs yeah. from the hottest NFL players. It Heck doesn't yeah, tell us are. how many, but... We are. And then on the, on the side here, we're looking for the ultra rare inserts, including downtowns, mm -hmm. mythical, mythicals, and blazers. I do like that you can hit downtown out of here. Got and rated then, rookies, exclusive, lots of parallels. And then these are... Um, so we got a downtown, mythical, we, got, we can pull a rookie kings out of here, an international downtown, so we, Super Bowl downtown. So you got 100, which I'm not really quite sure what that is. And then the stars. The stars are really, really sick. That's what we're looking for on some of those rookies. Um, and then it looks like you can also pull uh, Raid Rookie Autos to 199. And also Seriously. that's about it. Yeah, everything else looks about the same. So you can pull autographs of 199 and then the 100. I'm guessing that might be like uh, like the fire emoji or the mm. rocket where it might just yeah. have a bunch of hundreds around. That would be kind of cool. Yeah. But the stars is the what we're really looking for out of this. And then obviously, if we could hit downtown, that would be ideal. Yeah, so That's what we want. All right. How many packs? 24? Yes. Oh, you got to get busy now. I know. 24 packs, four packs, four cards per pack. Yeah, so not Let's a lot see what we can of pull cards off in a pack, but today. Dalton Schultz, got an Aaron Rodgers passing grade, Kirk Cousins. All right. First pack, pretty trash. Well, that just uh, gearing us up, Adam Vinatieri, Fred Warner, another Vinatieri. Yeah. Got a little... Barry Sanders, Mark Brunel, Mike Aslett. All stop. 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 You're not saying the T at the end. All stop. All stop. There you go. Like all stop. 
That pack sucked. If you went in the store and yeah. that was the pack that was on I top was and you bought like, that pack, you were pack. crying. We got my right. house, Justin Herbs. Mr. Herbs. Austin Eckler. All right, so let's talk a little bit about your show last night. Yeah. While we kind of rip the, through this. What was like the, the hardest thing to, to get over? Like what was the thing you were most afraid of? I think that going were, into it. I don't think afraid, just nervous to like mess up. But honestly, talking to ooh, we got a stars. All right, first stars. We're gonna have a couple of them. Oh, we are. A couple. Bills. Mm. Dorian Williams. It is it is a decent rookie though. Decent rookie for the Bills, so we'll take it. But yeah, you're saying like kind of because some people, some people when they do their breaks, they don't do really a show. They're kind of just almost like a blackjack dealer where they don't, they know that you're going to basically buy into their breaks regardless of what they do. Yeah. So they're just there to put the button to say next one. Yeah. But you're no, trying to do yeah. a show. You're trying to inter interact, interact, engage. Engage in the, okay, we got another blue one. Giants Hyatt? with an old guy. Ooh, Lawrence Taylor. Okay. We'll take it. Yeah, like I'm trying to interact with the chat as much as I can, but also I didn't have the iPad set up, so I was trying to read it off the the desktop, and then I was trying to read it off the phone, and then I was trying to make sure I was like yeah. on pace with. So one one addition that we will do uh, in the future mm -hmm. is we will like have a screen that is literally just dedicated to chat. Oh, yeah, so we can just, like, oh, look up here. Oh, can you flatten this out so these guys are in the frame? You see yeah. what I'm saying? Like, flatten it out. Yeah, there we go. Um, so, yeah, we'll have, like, a vertical screen. Yeah. So, like, the monitor, we'll flip it vertical, uh -huh. and it'll just all be chat. Okay. Come on. Jamar. Oh. oh. Yeah. Yeah, wait, I thought it was I thought it was the running back. I was like, what? We'll take Jamar Chase. That's sick. That's honestly the best one I've seen. But yeah, I think just overall trying to run a show, make sure I don't mess up, and also just like make sure like I'm on pace too, because I don't want to like You don't want to take know. too I long. Wanna, I don't want to take too long. Yeah. But people... I mean I did two breaks in like five hours. That's a really long time. So, but you also did six personals. You're forgetting that. You had six mm -hmm. personals too during that time. Yeah. And you also created a break for your first time, which probably took you a little bit longer to create a break than, than Yeah, the well, future. luckily the chat, I was like, hey guys, talk amongst yourselves while I make this. And they were like, what'd you do this weekend? Like the, the chat was really cool hey, yeah, on, yeah. on letting me kind of not feel overwhelmed while I was creating that break. Um, but, oh, there's a JSN. Oh, JSN. Um, but overall, it was really, really fun. I was afraid that, you know, someone was going to want to trade. Uh, you know how we do the C3 pick one. Yeah. Like that type of stuff. Or like and I said, I like, oh you got gosh. lucky that there wasn't a refund either. A refund didn't a happen. refund could have been. Yeah, it is. It, it, when you start like really breaking down all the different elements that go into a break, it is a lot of stuff and a lot of stuff yeah. that could go wrong that you got to quickly think on your fly, on the fly. On the fly, but also like even if you watch a break or even if I would like sit down and run a break with you, mm -hmm. I'm like that's pretty easy, but when you're by yourself. Yeah, when you're the one that's doing everything. It's a totally ooh. Oh, Jam okay. Waddle play action. Yeah. It's a totally different ball game when you're by yourself because here's the thing too. I didn't have any music for me. Yeah, so the non-music is tough. I had to like almost not create silence mm -hmm. if that makes any or sense. Or be okay with the silence, which yeah. some people really can't do. So. I can't. I can't do it. Uh, good news for you guys too is we did work out a deal with whatnot to where we will be able to break on YouTube as well. Heinz, Heinz Ward. Ward, all right. Um, so I like this coloring, the uh, yellow and the blue. We are going to break mostly on whatnot just because that is super comfortable. That's what we've been doing for a while. But if you're like, hey, I'm not really about it, and that's fine if you aren't. Um, because we still sell singles over there. Yeah. But we are going to bring it to YouTube too. So I think once we kind of get in a rhythm, we'll probably do a handful of shows on whatnot every week. And then do one show. Oh, that's our guy. No, it's not our guy. 
Dang it. I thought that was our guy. We'll do one show, uh, one break, or one live break mm -hmm. on YouTube a week. Okay. And so that, I have to, I'll have to create a website. I'll have to um, create, like, uh, basically what we'll do is we'll have products that come out every week, and each product will be an individual break. So there won't be any options. So it'll just be like, break one is $75 a team, and here's the boxes that we're doing kind of thing Amazing. um so be on the lookout of that i'll probably get started on that within the next couple weeks i would say okay so we'll see but i think that'll that'll make it better for some people that want us to stick here on youtube with us and rock and roll Here's over here all right we're down to our last pack and i gotta be honest with you i think this is just a show recap or some cards this in the this, bo this box is this box is tough this box is tough but it could all be worth with an a chain yeah! Yeah! How's the centering? All right, give us, here, we're gonna do a live PSA right now. Live PSA, we'll show you exactly, so tell the people what you're doing, what you're looking for, and all that so they okay, know. Okay, so I'm looking for the clarity on the top, like the top of the card. Just moving all the dust away, looking at the corners, I see a dimple right here. And a dimple right there. Well, I wasn't there yet. Oh, no, no I'm, I was just showing. So we're probably yeah. not going to grade this right away. Yeah. So I would say don't send this in. Sell it raw. Because the surface is what I look for at first. And then I look in the corners and look at the edging, look at the centering. and just So see how do you look lines. at the centering? What are you doing for the centering? I see where his head is in comparison to the two top right and left corners. So oh. this is off. So you think he should be in the middle? You don't think the border should be the same width? Oh, I look at that too. Oh, okay. But I still look at the center of the photo too because sometimes it's a little off because of the shift. Yeah, gotcha. And then you look top to bottom as well. Mm -hmm. And then corners. And then the edge. The edges is like the one thing I haven't really looked at. And Kelsey has been pretty good too at just looking at the edges to make sure the edges aren't chewed up. So this one looks this honestly... One, the edges on the bottom of this one are chewed up. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, some of the whiteness right there. Yeah. So this this one would probably be like a PSA 9. And so because of that, it's honestly not super worth sending in. So we won't send it. Now, if A-Chain was like a one of the guys that we want to keep for our PC or anything like that, then that would be something that we might, you know, we would slab up because... We don't really want to keep anything in our PC that's not slabbed up. So we would slab it up in that instance and maybe, you know, the PSA grader for the day is having a good day and just throwing 10s around and we get a 10. But that is basically, I know some people are asking how do we do it. That's basically how we do it right there. All right, so that is, uh, how, many, how many of these things did we get? We got one, two, three. Four, five, five six. Dang, six. So we got six and two rookies. Two rookies. So two rookies, four bait, uh, vets on the stars. We didn't see any of the hundreds. We didn't get any autos. No downtowns, anything like that. I bet the downtowns are so hard to hit out of this. I don't know. Yeah. But there you have it. Let us know what you guys think. These boxes are running anywhere from like 125 at the cheapest, which I've never been able to get. I think we paid 150, 170 for these. Um, so they are a little pricey, uh, but I'll throw up the comps of some of these cards because the blue stars, I think I hit Tank Dell the other day because um, I got it out of like a mystery tin. Yeah. And I want to say the Tank Dell like, was comping out like 70 bucks, which is pretty good. Raw. Okay. So they, they, the blue stars are a high commodity. Hot. So, hot commodity. So, who knows what the CJ Stroud is. But there you have it. There's a little retail pack. If you see those in your local card shop, or maybe they're, heck, maybe you live in the middle of nowhere, or nowhere, no one collects cards, and you can get those at your Target or Walmart. Congrats. Have fun. It is a fun rip. Those blue stars are sick. Anything else for the people? No. All right. We'll see you guys in the next one. Keep ripping them packs.